Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today, I've done this I've done this video about four times, honestly, it's so boring, but today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to gain trust, it was very highly suggested in my Discord, so Discord link in the description, and we are also closing in on 1.7 thousand subscribers, so if you like my guides, there's a lot of guys on this channel, whatever you can think of, it's probably on there, so make sure you subscribe and like and comment any ideas you have, um, so if you enjoyed this video, that'd be great. So, in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about how to gain trust and some other features as well on your commanders, um, what they've added in the game, including my suggestion, which is absolutely amazing. So let's just go straight into it. So they've added a new feature where you can um, basically gain trust in your commanders, you get speed ups, like one, five minutes from it, and you get your own emoji, which is the commander's emoji. So to gain trust, I'm going to go through that first. So you may notice at the front of your city, there may have been some people at your city. You click that and you gain a free golden apple. That golden apple can be used for trust. And if you see anyone walking around your city with an exclamation mark across the head, that's someone you can gain trust to. That's the only commanders you can gain trust to. So there's only eight commanders you can gain this trust to, which includes Tao Tao, it includes Minamoto, Joan of Arc, um, Sun Tzu, CPO, Cleopatra, and Sun Diok. I believe I've said them all. And you may see them walking around like this. So if you have an exclamation mark above the reds, you're going to click it, you're going to go on this, I've already done it, but you can click on it and you go through the dialogue, it'll gain trust to that commander. The golden apple can also be used by clicking this. You can only have 20 a day, but you can gain the trust on that and you can quickly get your trust up. But how do you get the golden apples? Good question. The only way you can get golden apples is through daily tasks. It's the only way. And I'm sorry my camera is a bit fuzzy, it always has been, and it's really annoying, so I'll sort it out in the next video. You can only get it from here. You get three golden apples from here, so that's about 900 trust, I'm guessing. 900 trust, I think. So if you go on your commanders, you'll see the little thing in the top corner. Um, you guys can't see it right now. It is right oh, there. What is the background? Hold on a minute, guys. Let me just see if that's running. It's not good. So you can see the trust in the top in the top corner. So I'm gonna go on my F led for example, and you can see it right here. So I'm on three hundred out of one thousand four hundred and fifty, and basically when you get to level seven, you'll get your own emoji, and level ten. I'm guessing you can use this in battle. Um, so if you use this in battle, I'm guessing it comes off as animated this time, not just an emoji. So you get a dialogue with it. I don't really know what it does yet, but it's just basically a video. I'm guessing. Then you get a biography where you can read a bunch of stuff if you want. And you, you're you only here for the emoji. That's all you get by doing this. You only get an emoji. So I guess you're only here for the emoji. You can do this for any commander that's on that list. They have suggested that there is more coming. So you may be able to use it on some of these guys down here. So that's the trust out of the way. Now I want to go over what they've added and some things that I don't like. So... One thing that they've added is this new garrison. So basically when your troops are out, you can add a new, new garrison to whatever you want. So if, you, if you've got those troops out and you get attacked, the second one will be your garrison. So that's basically what that is. They've added my suggestion, which is you can add, um, no, you can sign in through Rock PC on email now, email and password. You didn't, you can't do that before. It was Google or Facebook. So that's something else I've added and I'm really happy because it was my suggestion. Now we're going to go on to something else that I just don't like. So you may notice you may notice when you send out a commander, there is a now a multi-select. So if I select on this march here and go boom and multi-select, it will select every single march in your lineup, which I don't like. So you would have to remove all of these just to send out those matches you want. And so, or you can manually un unselect them, but I found out it's actually quicker doing it manually by just clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking through presets, because that's what presets are for. So, if I send that out, look how slow it is. One, two, and then three. That is so slow. So you can do that probably manually really, very fast, but it is a good feature. But say if I add another one right now and just randomly saved it to that and put them all back in my city, 
say if I want to be quickly, so like, oh my god, there's a guy right here. Multi select, kaboom. It will also send that one out. And if you've got some down here, it auto selects all of them. So, you got, so basically, if there's a guy next to your city and you only want to send out three or four or five, you would have to manually unselect all of these, all of them, just to send your march out. It's not the best. So what I've done is I've removed all of them, all of them, all of them, so I can send them out really, really quickly. Just like that. So that's something else they've added. They've also added some new features that are coming out, um, like Race Against Time. I'm guessing you can get gold apples from that, but we'll see when we get there. So that is all I had to say in this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash a like and subscribe. Let's try and get 20 likes on the video. I've never really set a goal, but let's try and get 20. If you like, if you liked the video, make sure you subscribe. And there's more guys on my channel that involves KVK One Rise Kingdoms. So that's all I've got today. Thanks so much. Um, I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I'm, how I'm doing in the Sunset Canyon. I'm probably going to win this, so I will indeed go to the championship. If I don't win, that's very sad. But I am probably going to go to the championship. So that's all for today, guys. Smash like, subscribe. I'll see you later in this one.